Okay, welcome to your yoga flow today. Um, we're going to start on the mat with laying down. And we're just going to put our arms out by our shoulders and focus on breath. Inhaling in through the nose, bringing awareness to your heart. Inhaling in and out. Slower and deeper. Allowing all your worries to just be put on the sidelines for now. And perhaps by the end of this session, you'll have a new perspective of what your issue is. Maybe we can do a bit of an attitude shift throughout this practice. Taking our breath in through our nose and out. Allowing our diaphragms to expand. Allowing our bodies to soften. Mm. Keep bringing that awareness to your heart. Nice heart energy. Thinking of something positive. Bringing that heart energy in. Inhaling in through your nose. And exhaling out. And two more breaths here. And one more breath. And bring your knees, uh, bend your knees. With your knees bent, put your hands beside your thighs and squeeze into your hands for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now put your hands to the inside of your thighs and push into that space like an imaginary yoga block. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your right knee up to your chest. Give it a nice big hug. Stretching out your left leg. Now take your right hand and draw really big circles with your hips using your knee as a guide. Five circles on one side and five circles on the other. I'm sorry, five circles on one way and five circles the other way. And then switch out legs, hug that left knee, oh, I'll hug that left knee after. Do those big circles. The challenges of doing yoga videos, um, it's too noisy to put a, a microphone to my mouth today, so you're getting a voiceover. It's all good. When we can improvise, life just is a lot smoother. And bring your knee up to your chest now. Give it a big hug. Now bring both your legs up, both your knees into a 90 degree angle and lift your arms up straight to the sky and lift your chest off the ground. Just one more so your shoulders. So reach with your hands and lift your shoulders up, pushing that core into the ground. And reach. And reach. And just give yourself a bit of a break. Bending your knee, keeping that bend in your knee, we're going to send it back to now the feet. So now we're going to dip our heel down, touching the ground with one foot, and then on the left side doing the same. And we're alternating back and forth, using yet some different muscles in the core. Back 
to the front. We're going to lift our arms up to the sky and then we're going to bring our elbows to the outside of our knees. So now we're working the side muscles. So up to the center, over to the left, up to the center, over to the right. Up to the center, over to the left, up to the center, over to the right. You want to squeak one more in, go for it. Oh, I think I was just struggling there. <laughs> Ah, and just give yourself a break. Stretching that core out, bending your knees, soles of the feet to the ground, drop your knees to the right, and a gentle twist to the left. Bring your knees back to center, drop them over to the left and look to the right, gentle twist to the right. Bring your knees back to center and let's do a figure four. So the right knee Right foot comes in front of the left knee and the left knee is bent. And just pull gently on your left leg to bring it closer to your core. And swap out legs, interlace your hands behind your right thigh. Right hamstring, left foot in front of the leg. Gently pull the right leg towards you. Alright, gently rock onto your belly, extending one, the left arm out and bending your right elbow, tense your fingers, take your right leg and bring it over to the left side. So nice shoulder stretch and also a gentle twist. bringing yourself back to center, swap out sides. This has got to be one of my favorites. Bringing yourself to center. Now come up onto your forearms and you see how I've sunk in there just being super, super lazy. Now I want to engage the core. So I mean, the camera's a little bit far away, but you can see that I'm no longer sinking. My back has got some energy into it and my rib cage is pulling in and I'm lengthening through my body. And that is looking lazy and now I'm looking active. So now find that stability in your left shoulder and we're just going to take our right hand and go from the front all the way back. Just opening up that shoulder, giving that shoulder some move, room to move. Push, 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 engaging the core, squeezing your glutes, pushing the backs of your feet into the ground. Think of having an avocado in your chin. We're going to reverse sides. Now we're going to the left, to the top, and all the way to the bottom. back, lie down onto the mat, create a pillow with your forearms, bending your right leg, put it to the sky, sole of the foot, and pulse. Causing much mayhem, Five, dropping drama, radical four, rubber with the need to bomb her. Make him sit and I hang up higher. The mic is my one and hold. Crime of rhyme as I kick them. Hold portrayed as the fold and relax. And the opposite side. Challenges, graceful. Five pulses. So now you assume I'm swift. You got it right the first time. Just using your glitch. And hold. Hold, 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 squeeze that glute. You've got this. Let it go down. Hands by your shoulders. Come up into tabletop. In this tabletop, take this moment to just feel where your body's at. 
here, you might want to go back and forth, stretch, do circles, lean to one side. Just get a grasp of what you're feeling in your body. Now let's do a series then now of uh, cat-cow, five, five series, inhaling on the, the arch up and exhaling on the round. Inhaling, dropping the belly, lifting the chest, exhaling, rounding the spine. MC, then I hang them higher. The mic is mine, time to paint the piper. Crime of rhyme going off as a victim. Inhaling, lifting your chest up. As the victim, as the cut exhaling, the rounding the spine. With the war and challenges, graceful. You can't catch up, so now you assume I'm swift. Inhaling, lift. You got it right the first time your ass was through before exhaling, I started to climb. Now curl those toes under. And if you can sit on them, sit on them. Sit on them for as long as you can. Uh, just to give them a nice real stretch. And we'll take this moment to do some face yoga. So I want to just take your hands, your fingertips, and just tap, tap all over your face. Make, make your face aware that you're around, you're present, the forehead, under the eyes, the chin, the jawline, down your neck. Just gently tap. Activating the skin and the collagen and the blood flow. Now take your two pointer fingers and find that little bone uh, underneath your eyes onto the cheekbone. Sort of, it's like if you line up your pupils and you're just going to hold. Gently press, press into that spot. We'll do it longer the next time around. We're just giving you a bit of introduction into face yoga. Slap out your feet if your toes are numb right now and make your way into your first downward dog. Again, in this downward dog, <clears throat> it's your first one. So take your time, bend your knees, pedal your feet, and then slowly settle into the move. Eyes of the elbows forward. Excuse me. And draw your right knee to your chest, round your spine, sending that leg out straight, and then using your glute to lift the leg up to the sky. Bring that right knee to your chest, and then lift it up to the sky again. Rise up onto your hips and your toes, and step that leg forward in between your hands. Rise up to warrior one. Knee is bent over the ankle, hips are aligned forward. So pull that uh, left hip forward and the right hip back. Bring yourself back, your arms down, interlace your hands, drop your shoulders, and then pivot your body forward and bring your arms up into Humble Warrior. My hands were slippery today. Just soften your head, relax your face. Soften your hands, put your right hand on the inside of your leg, straight, lengthening out your right left arm to the sky, hinging at the hip. Triangle pose. Bringing your hands forward again, stepping to the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up. And just exhale it all out, forward fold. Rise up. Just giving our bodies and our nervous system a chance to relax. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Last one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into plank. Lower yourself to the mat. Forearms to the ground. Engage your ribcage. 
This time we're with the arms, we're going to do circle straight circles. So palm up to the sky, and then when your shoulder has that natural pause, you turn your hand back. Bend your elbow to scoop, and then up, and bend your elbow to scoop. We're gonna do five on each side, at your own pace. Really good. Push yourself back into tabletop and make your way into your next downward dog. And in this downward dog, take your left knee to your chest and push it up to the sky. Step forward in between your hands into warrior one. Shift your hips. Interlace your hands behind your back and Pivot forward into Humble Warrior. Straightening the leg and shifting your arms up to the sky in Trikonasana. Left hand comes down to the feet, hinging at the hips, aligning the shoulders. Bringing your hands back up, stepping to the front of the mat. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. Send yourself into chair pose. Sending your tailbone back, bending the knees. Arms come ahead. Pushing your legs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Stepping back into goddess pose. So toes and feet are aligned with the knees. You'll see that I'm shifting a little bit here just to find that right pose. Then lift the right leg, turn the knee in. Do that three times on each side. Lift and turn, lift and turn, lift and turn. And come back up, relax your legs, shift into warrior one, facing the other direction. Step up to the front of the mat. Switch legs, stepping back, going into chair pose, sorry. Step back with the other leg into warrior one. Shifting into goddess pose. And with your right leg, lift your foot, turn the knee in, and again, and again. You'll thank me later, your hips will be happy. Lift up and switch legs. Good. Switch back into warrior one. Step to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up. Bring yourself to center. Come down to the mat. Sitting on your bum. Stretch your legs out. Hinging at the hip. Nice long back. Reach forward. And exhale, forward fold. And inhale, come back up. Coming forward and then one vertebrae at a time, laying down onto the mat. Put the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to fold out, arms overhead or to the side, wherever you feel comfortable. And this brings you into your Shavasana. Take your time, don't rush. This is investment into you. That's, it's important. 
and just set your intention for the day and when it feels right for you, uh, go take on the day. See you next week.